Number one, zone offense. Mental part of attacking a zone. Mental part. Uh, Bob Knight once said, 80% of what you do is mental. Once you have certain talent, 80% is mental. All right? I really believe that when you have certain abilities. So, number one, the mental part of attacking a zone. Have confidence playing against a zone as a coach. Have confidence. Your team is going to reflect you. Be confident. I know when I coach for a long time, I'd much rather go against man-to-man, -man, but uh, you got to have confidence against a zone. Number two. All right? Don't worry too much about the zone. Don't worry too much about how the zone works. Just know, well, is it a two-man front, two-three, two-one-two? All right, odd front. Is it a pure zone matchup? Don't worry too much about it. Just get general. Don't worry about it. Just attack the zone. So don't worry too much about it. Number three, it's very important against the zone, okay, that I think if what you can do here against the zone, all right? Have patience against the zone. Be patient. Don't worry. All right, just be patient. Get some touches. Don't rush your offense. Patience is important. Usually you're going to get more time against the zone to take the score than a man-to-man. -man. Number four, okay, it's very, very important against the zone offense here. Against a good zone, the more cutters you have, the more cutters, more movement, and the more screens you set, the better your offense will be. I'll say it again. Against a good zone, the more movement you have, all right, more cutters, the more screens you set, all right, the better your offense will be. And the last thing, number five, don't run the same offense the whole game. Zone might get keyed into it, so run a special play, a special play against it. All right, change up your offense just for a couple of sessions. So change up a little bit, run a special set against the zone. So those are mental things, okay, that I think are important against those five things.